Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. It's me, Passage of Derm, and of course, at Real Will Combi. Here, just doing a few games through the PlayStation Plus experience on February 2017. And one of the games that we got this month is Ninja Senki DX. Now, <laughs> it look, from what I've been seeing of this, it's again another 8-bit uh, style it's indie it. title. Um, oh my god. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's not just a tribute. This is a living tribute. Yeah, I was going to say, copyright 2015, Tribute Games Inks. Inks? Ink? I get the feeling it's, you know, maybe a homage. A homage to the classic NES platformers, I imagine. Um, if this is a very, very <laughs> funny version. Of, all right, so I got, oh, hardcore mode? <laughs> no. Fuck, right off. <laughs> no, no, no. no We're just going to go yet. to New Game, are we'll, we? We'll, go, we'll, we'll just do the normal. I'll have, like, flashbacks. We'll just do the new go game. Go down, is there an actual... Oh, oh, I was going right. to say, to hit the option screen just to see if there's any differences. Oh, standard rule. Uh, attack the girlfriend and escape. And Kunohime. Where did you go, Princess Peach? Katakuchi begins! I am so glad you're here because I cannot pronounce those words. Like, what, is, what, is, oh, what even is begins? This is glorious. I actually just like, I just miss this old like format of screen as well because it's actually about the, the old arcade machines whenever you're playing them uh, had these big thick borders because all the text was being translated on screen. But it also was because all the screens were in 4-3. And they get like kind of like a good portrait view on like a vertical screens in 4-3. You kind of like separated them off and then you had that letterbox in effect. Oh, you fucking ghost. <laughs> You're not very happy with him? No, I'm not happy with myself. Okay. Ninja Stars. So is it like pretty much two-button gameplay? Ah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> is it two-button gameplay where you uh, him, uh, jump and shoot? Left, right, jump, shoot. Ah. Double tap. For a double jump? Yep. Or even, or even just when you're like falling, you can sort of Aye, set yourself well, in the air. Uh, it's always good to have that extra jump to recover. Well, you say jump, I say fart. <laughs> it's, it's a ninja survival. So does it feel a little bit punishing? Fuck. Aye, if you uh, mess it up. Also, I seem to be just racing myself to get the game done. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the whole point. It's a your time limit just. I mean, that's what these old games were. They were actually like oh, shit, yeah. score and time limits. Score, time limits, and life limits. That was the biggest thing. Because if you actually ran out of lives halfway through a level... If you ran out of lives and had to use a continue, you had to start from the beginning of a world. Yeah, why? <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, what I don't know why what, you were what trying happened to do that. There, what happened there <laughs> was I thought, oh, I'll switch from D-pad... To analog. To analog. And uh, maybe not... That was probably not one of the wisest choices I could have made today. I think some of these like older games... And I haven't started drinking yet. <laughs> I, uh, believe me you're probably going to get to that point if it actually comes down to this uh, like, uh, the, these games can be unbelievably frustrating I mean just stylistically it reminds me a lot of Wonder Boy and Wonder Boy <laughs> that's why it's a tribute yep ah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I could get that one in uh, uh, Wonder Boy or <laughs> Wonder Boy or Ninja Gaiden or uh, Shinobi but um, obviously Alex a kid I was a kid as well yeah or kid Look at that, I just dropped the, I just Dropped some information on you. <laughs> they all work because they are like, these these classic platformers were not oh, they, were, they weren't challenging, but they were punishing whenever you made a mistake. Like I mean, you knew where every enemy was going to be, and they respawn in the same spot every single damn time. It's just the fact that <laughs> you might get hit by them each time. It's basically Super Mario. When everyone plays Super Mario. Yep. They're able to just to do the fucking level of spot off with wee jumps and bits and bobs. And oh yeah, like tricks. pixel pixel level jumping. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they, re back. they reappear. It's just the fact that they're there for, like, step-downs. You're gonna need a double jump to get that one. Wah! Oh, I'll take that, ghost. Or, I don't know. Racist. So, I think there's a kind of, like, Kunimitsu masks. Oh, right. So, this, this is where, like, the challenge for the jumps get in. So, you have to make use of your double jump as best you can. Nicely done. Oh, I think I just crapped myself a little bit. <laughs> I think I'm a little wet inside. Or maybe that's just the internal bleeding. Oh, come on. Trump supporters floating around the level. Yeah, but you don't have to get all of them. <laughs> I feel like I have to. Don't I pepper, like I have to don't pepper spray the people who look like Trump supporters. They may not actually be Trump supporters. Did you hear about that? The uh, news, the person who got attacked at a... No. It, some, somebody went to like a Melu Yanovich's uh, or Yanovich, um, like speech at a college. And uh, she was wearing a red hat that said... <laughs> make, she was wearing a red hat that said, Make Bit uh, Bitcoin Great Again. Oh, God. And somebody mistook it for uh, Trump hat for Make America Great Again. 
and Apparently ran away. that person could not read. Yeah, well, they, they didn't really give themselves time because they literally ran up to her and just pepper sprayed her in the face. Good Lord. Yeah, while well, she was giving an interview on camera. I was like, okay, you're a psychopath. What the fuck are you doing there? Not the person who, like, tried to have an interview done, the woman. I'm chatting the guy who fucking tried to just attack the woman with a pepper spray for no apparent goddamn reason. Usually it's the other way around. A woman would attack a man with pepper spray. Well, you know, for no with, with, reason. With, with due cause, obviously. Sometimes we're due cause, and yep. a lot of times we're due cause. Is the reason why. But uh, Sword hat, get the hat. What? Attack her. Oh god, she's dead. Uh, well, I mean, essentially, like uh, she was obviously hurt, and was actually that's a terrible thing to happen. But yeah, <laughs> I don't think attacking Trump supporters of any sort, even if you are accidentally making a mistake, is actually a good idea. I mean, that's uh, that's a, that's applying violence to a form of protest. I don't know how it's relevant to ninjas jumping through skies grabbing little coins, but um, I thought it would bring I it up. I feel like this is how, you know, once Trump ruins the world, that's how it's all going to be. We're just like, running around grabbing coins as hard as we can just to make sure. <laughs> There's a game from years back. Um, well, it's actually, like, I think they did a recent re-release of it. Uh, N+. Plus. The whole premise of the game is you're a ninja. <laughs> Fucking ghost bollocks. <laughs> well, you didn't do too badly there. Uh, uh, you got to recover. You, got, you made it back to the same spot. That. But make sure you don't run out of uh, lives, remember? Ah, shit, I'm on zero. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, if you're on zero lives, the next time you die, you go back to the beginning of the level or game or let of scene. End scene, take one. I think whenever you get all the Koban or all the enemies, that probably gives you a new life. Koban being the coins. But uh, there was a game called M+. Plus that Have you ever played it? No. M+, Plus was basically you play as a ninja, and the whole premise of it is they get from point A to point B. You had to get uh, you started at the beginning of the level, you had to get to the exit of the level, and along the way, pick up as much gold as you can because gold is time. And the more gold you have, the longer your character will survive. And then whenever it runs out of time, whenever you run out of gold and run out of time, you instantly die. Damn. You literally explode, kind of like a lemming. But um, oh, you fucking. The whole point would be that you'd be playing through levels, playing through levels, playing through levels. And if you didn't pick up enough gold as you went through the levels, you find left yourself in a situation where you had so little gold that it was near impossible to finish the next level because you only had two seconds to make it across the screen. God damn it! All right, there's three HP left. Yeah, be careful about taking those guys down. Yeah, time your jumps. Boom. <laughs> yep, there's more of them. There's always more. I'm out of time anyway. You are out of time. I don't like those ghosts. Yeah, you're out of time, but it's not killing you or anything. No, that's good. Well, I suppose essentially it was like the time is you have a target. What the hell is that? You're gonna have to just uh, drop down and hit him, ba ba ba, really, really quickly, or jump right, over him. Skip the cunt. Hey, scene one completed. Ooh, there you go. I'll let you take over. <laughs> so I'm going to start swearing a lot. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with swearing on this channel. Dude. We, we, we just put a sign for mature content. Yeah, fine. but you can't, you can't have an entire video where it says beep. Because that's, that, that's going to get annoying. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> Pretty much all my all some of my older videos. <laughs> yeah, but that's all technical issues. So we got Cyclops in this level. It's an upgrade. Um, right, you know you can't walk on your uh, stars. Yeah, I was just trying. Uh, yeah, God loves a try and all that. Damn, I have a lot of stars. I was just shooting them one to one. I didn't realize you could like flat out. Oh! You always. Uh, oh. Ah, I have to take the low route now. Can't get your coins. Damn you! Yep, I can't get those coins. No. Unless I backtrack. Mm, no, no, ah! not even then. Yeah, if you have one heart, or one. You have no lives, but one HP. You like trying to rip off Tiller? <laughs> what, the music? Yeah. Oh, shit! This is what happens when I can't think of stuff to say. I just <laughs> you just start humming along the tune. I just hum the tune. Ah! And that is all she wrote. Murder she wrote. Do I continue from the beginning? All right, so I get to start from the beginning of the scene. So that's actually like that's the one thing I wanted to confirm. I know I'm too concerned about actually playing the game, but I'm more yep. concerned about actually being able to actually survive from the second scene. For the, so you don't actually have to start again from the complete beginning. No. But at least this good. time you can get the. The, no, this is. Uh, you can get the, oh. the, the coins you didn't get the first time. I'm still gonna be there. Yep. Woo. 
I am a ninja. Wait a minute. There's a guy in a, in a garage. A guy wearing a <laughs> pair of pajamas. He's just like, pajamas and throwing paper stars at people. Look at this guy wearing his red booties. Oh my god, I'm wearing gay red booties. Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> Aren't they adorable? Uh, oh my god, I just got bit by a guy called Cockknocker. Jesus. Oh, they were purple booties? Ah, like uh, yeah. Gay purple booties. Uh, was that uh, Jane Sound Bob Strike Back? Yep. Speaking of Jensen and Bob Strikes Back, I was saying earlier on, did you know that the Jen Bob are actually making an appearance in a video game soon? You mentioned earlier on, I, but from my memory, it's so great. It's it's new information to me again. What <laughs> is the game? <laughs> the, it's, it's Call of Duty. <laughs> um, the Call of Duty game actually has a um, expansion DLC, like a like a zombies game in it, where yep. you fight a hordes and hordes and hordes of zombies. But they have like uh, sometimes guest characters and um, people that are in the DLC. And uh, this time, the DLC it's going to be uh, Jen Bob. Jay and Bob, and it's, it's not even like not uh, Silent Bob and uh, See, Jay. Was, it's actually it's it's Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. They had an in house marketing right there, where it's like Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith are well known for being Jay and Silent Bob, and they've got a film called Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. If you're gonna yep. put them in as zombie versions of the characters, Jay and Silent Bob fight back. That's Bye. fucking marketing right there. Yeah, I mean the, the name of the oh shit. Uh, I, didn't think that I was standing on that and I'm just going to fall. They, um, they actually, like, the thing's called Sabotage. So I'm assuming it's actually like there's some kind of key event that's actually going on in the game. Sabotage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was going to go, why is it not the fucking uh, why is it band the instead? Boys? Yeah, why not the PC boys are going like, why is that would be so much more appropriate? Ah, no, I did it again. <laughs> Here we go. This one. Yeah, go give it a wee try on that bit. Watch out for his thing because it tracks you. Oh. Yeah, like I said, it tracks you. <laughs> So, um, yeah, Jensen and Bob are going to be in uh, Call of Duty expansion content called Sabotage. Uh, I've only seen a clip of it where it shows Kevin Smith in a hockey top running with a shotgun off screen. Oh, and that's I've, it. <laughs> honestly, God, all I've got now is Beastie Boys stuck in the head. <laughs> He's just going to bob your head to that. And I've also just realized game. we've been enjoying this game too much. Well, I, I, but that's because it's it's classic, man. Like, whenever you throw Mega Man! Like, that was another one. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. I made him just deafen someone. <laughs> and I it's honestly like, did the realization hit. It's Mega Man. Now that's the reason why I want to see if we can make it to the end of the scene in case there actually is like a Mega Man esque <laughs> boss. <laughs> Jesus, that thing really follows you. Quite Jump far. over it instead of actually like trying to run away from it because it'll always track you. Yeah, no, yeah. Don't jump towards it. Just jump up. <laughs> 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 I think you need to get the timing down a little bit better, there, buddy. What's that? Is that what instructions I can't can follow? <laughs> Son of a... Oh, shit, we're back at the beginning of that scene. Uh, yep, just realized that. Oh, man. That's disappointing. <laughs> so disappointing, I committed suicide. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm gonna no pressure, you have five wee bits, but no hearts. Oh, my God. I'm gonna I do, am so bad at this. I'm just going to play one last life of this. I'm not, I'm not going to tempt myself into actually playing any further. I'm not, I'm not even caring about surviving. I'm just going to see how far I can get just by... Pulling ahead. People are like, didn't they just do that? But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we I suck so bad at this. Yeah, if this was, if this had actually been like a say game grumps or something, oh, <laughs> if this had been game grumps or something, they would actually done like a whole fast forward back to the point where they were previously. Not nah, we weren't doing that. So, what do you think of Ninja Senki DX? I kind of like it. I like retro games. I, but, uh, I mean, it's it's. I'm I'm a product of my age. I'm a product of my time. You're not no much older than me. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It's just like these kind of games. Actually, like they still. This is like how I started gaming. Yeah. Like, the mechanics are really really simple. It's something I can really get into. It's uh, got a, an increasingly growing challenge. It has uh, level memorization to its levels. It's, it's the same as I would have done with Mario, where I can pretty much play it with my fucking eyes closed now at this point. Mario, yeah, you pretty much can at this. At this you know, point. like I mean, you can play you can play worlds one through three without actually really looking at the screen. Especially in Super Mario Three, just boom into that level, down this bit, get the whistle, boom over there. Da -da 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 -da, you're in four to six, one. six to eight, yep. and eight to nine, and then take on the final boss. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you wanted to check out hardcore mode here. <laughs> I can only assume that there's no. It's not going to be pornographic. I think it's one it. one hit kill. Probably. Want to kill? No extra lives. Here we go. Here we go. Scene one. And, and no continues. It's two lives, full health, but uh, no continues. That's what I'm guessing. 
oh, this is a breeze. But then again, I did this first level like four times. <laughs> That's the reason why you just like, you've already memorized the level layout. Pretty much. To an extent. Hey, the ghosts weren't in the first? Yeah, they were. Oh, they were? All right. Oh, it was, it was the um, Cyclopses that weren't in the first level? See, that's the thing. It's, like, it's whenever you start memorizing the level layouts and like what enemy types are going. Oh, nice recovery. Thank you. Who's bad? <laughs> Do you ever hear the story about Sonic 3 and Michael Jackson? <laughs> a couple of weeks ago on um on, i think on facebook or some balls like yeah that. no they, they're actually with like, the original soundtrack to sonic 3 actually had tracks that were that were produced and kind of like offered to sega by michael jackson and the reason why it's actually almost almost like without confirmation it's um, almost definitely true is that whenever they re-released sonic 3 after um michael or, jackson died no no but long before <laughs> michael jackson died, but after like their accusations and stuff started kind of circulating and all yeah. Um, the PC versions of Sonic 3 all had completely different music on those levels. They replaced the music with different kind of um, music. Yeah. And some of us saw... If you, and there's like... Oh, uh, no, it, no, it, no, it. Fuck, fuck this. I'm not starting from the start again. <laughs> you just give it I, up? Nope. nope. <laughs> just, press, just press start, man, and head it into the main menu. Quit the title screen. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll finish the, the Michael Jackson story first. Yep. Um, there's like a couple of tracks that actually, if you listen to the tracks and actually play them alongside other Michael Jackson singing songs, like um, mm. Something in Russia, was it, um, Morning in Russia, another one that's actually called uh, Jump, and another one, uh, I can't remember what the name of the track is, but there's actually like three or four tracks that actually like played in sync with the Sonic tunes are actually like going, that is the exact same arrangement, just slightly modified for the purposes of actually being used for something else so it's like casino zone ice cap zone and i wonder something else didn't um the ending theme of sonic 3 the game the michael ja uh michael jackson's moonwalker game yeah did sonic or did sega not made that yeah yep that was their previous their previous experience was actually making michael jackson moonwalker mm. for arcades and for home consoles yeah michael ja and then they made it in the goddamn film too or well, no, it was the film the, first. Did, did, oh, they did the film first. Yeah, the film was designed first. Um, the film's really just a bunch of music videos on a tape. <laughs> like, yep. I, mean, I end up, uh, I remember, I, like, I was a huge fan. Like, that movie I was never in our video shop. I, 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 I remember catching, I remember sort of, it was on TV at some point, and mm -hmm. it was like, this guy just turned into a car, and it was like, that, that's deadly. Yeah, that's and if, what, what do you call him, was the villain? Um, fucking, um, is it Joe Pesci? <laughs> Joe Pesci the villain is that, is that who it is that's playing the villain okay I need to watch I need to watch that again it, it's well I like, need to watch it you know what, that'd yes. be, I'd love to do that for like a video on here like doing kind of like a theater mode where we sit and watch through like a film we'll <laughs> pixelate the shit out of it in the corner yep and we sit and do uh, kind of like a uh, riff tracks commentary over the top of it if you'd be up for doing that sometime I will be up for that up for doing it now back to the Back to this. But well, that's what I'm saying. This I'm, is this? This is us? That's all, what I was actually saying. I was going to like, say that to the fans. If you guys want if you want to see something like that, if you want to see us sit down and do a theater mode style kind of like riff track thing of, say, uh, Mortal Kombat or of... Uh, sorry, not Mortal Kombat. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. I don't know why I thought Mortal Kombat. Michael uh, Jackson's Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that's, what, that's what it was. He killed, <laughs> all, he killed all the children. Um, the If you want to see us riffing on that movie, then say it in the comments below because if it, you say it, we do it. It, and then it actually makes it into song that you can watch. Uh, also, Provided it is legal. Yeah, no. If we just do commentary, don't, we don't show don't, the film. Don't don't say something that we can't legally do. Well, said it bad. If like we if we if we don't do it, it on we don't do it on YouTube, it might not be legal. You can figure ways around things. But um, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed us playing this game, uh, play, it's Ninja Senki. I could actually literally blanked on it just as the one moment oh, where yeah. it's not on screen. Ninja Senki DX. Uh, it's part of the PlayStation Plus games for February on. 2017 on PS4, and I think it actually has crossed by between that and the PS Vita. Don't hold me to that one though. Nope. Um, but if you enjoyed us talking it, about it the is, game and is, watching us get our asses beat, definitely a nostalgia game. Yeah. Like, you will enjoy this. Like it'll it'll bring up memories of Super Mario or Mega Man and all that sort of thing. Yeah, it does. It feels like a classic arcade game. Wonder Boy, Alex Kid, Mega Man, Ninja Gaiden. I mean, look at the Shinobi. instructions on the screen. There was like left, right. I can just imagine, I can just picture, just, you know, controller, uh, you know, the arcade Being controller. an arcade cabinet, yeah, yeah. Definitely being an arcade cabinet game. 
So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed us talking about this game and want to see more stuff like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button up here. It allows you to see every episode as it comes out live here on the channel. And over the top of Will's head, there's actually going to be a few episodes. Jester, you're up for them there a wee bit to see. Uh, right about there, there'll be uh, episodes of shows that we've done here on the channel previously. So if you guys liked it, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and talk to us here on the channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye.